What do you do when you've got a hot date and you need to cook some sexy food? Oysters. How are you going to impress? Who are you going to turn to? I can help you. <laughs> I am the cooking guy. Hot date tonight, hot date tonight. Hot date tonight wants me to cook some sexy food for the purposes of seduction. Now I'm here at Kiefer's Shellfish down here in Bo Morris in sunny Melbourne. I'm gonna pop down and get some oysters and have a word to the good people down there. Steve, how are you mate? I'm pretty good, thanks. How good. are you? Good mate. Can I get a dozen Sydney rock oysters please? Sure thing. I'll just go and grab them for you. Thanks mate. Check them out and see how we open them, because I've got no idea. I always get them you know, opened already. Okay, grab your oyster, just whack your cloth over there, okay. just push and twist, okay? So that pops him open there. Yeah. There's a bit of uh, bit of muscle that you've got to cut now. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Okay, you open it up, give him a bit of a wash, take out any bits of shell, and Bob's your uncle. Ready to go. It's a bit gritty at the moment, but I reckon this would uh, taste quite the treat once you sort of rinsed all the schmutz off it. And I ain't gonna eat this, baby. What's your idea of sexy food? Just soft, um, liquid food, really. Liquid food? Yeah. What would you make Cream? For oh, probably something like the strawberry cream. Crayfish or something like yeah. that, maybe? Yeah. Crayfish. Sexy food. What do you think sexy food? Uh, what do you mean? It's sexy, you know, romantic? Romantic food. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, what I like it. But... This one, mate, now. I'm going to knock this feet up, get it all sussed and ready for them to go before they get here. Let's get stuck into it. Okay, there's a half a splodge of olive oil in the saucepan. Light the gas. Get the oil hot. Add the onion. Cook till translucent. Okay, when your onions are that colour, which takes about four minutes, get your second least expensive bottle of champagne. And whilst making this ludicrously stupid face, this one. Oh, <laughs> It's a boy! Dump about half a bottle of champagne in here. You know what? That's not bad! Okay, now that liquid has reduced by about nine tenths, hasn't it? We only want like a wee bit, an aorta, a fraction. Just a wee bit of incredibly flavourful liquid. And then we're going to add the cream to that, reduce it, and add the butter, salt and pepper to that, and we'll have a bare blanc. And there it is, Sydney Rock Oysters with a Champagne Ver Blanc, the number one entree as voted by our studio audience. Enjoy. We all agree it's pretty easy to cook a meal for a guy who you're keen on, but the real challenge is preparing a meal for someone who you're about to dump. Now theoretically you need an excuse to dump someone so you want to prepare a meal that's going to start an argument. If he's a meat and three veg kind of guy then you want to serve him sushi. If he's allergic to seafood then I'd open up with the crab bisque. And you actually want to do the dumping over main course because that way you don't have to prepare dessert. Okay, to try this out at home, you need a boyfriend who's a selfish 
inconsiderate, lazy prick. Sometimes these tendencies can take up to three weeks to emerge, but fortunately, I've got a boyfriend I prepared earlier. Look, David, we're having Japanese. But if I eat that, my eyes swell up and I lapse into a coma. You see, it's that easy. Make sure you tune in next week when I'll be showing you how to bake hash cookies for when those pesky Seventh-day Adventists turn up unannounced. Celebrity Fridge, Celebrity Fridge, Celebrity Fridge. I'm standing out the front of the house of multi-aria award-winning singer-songwriter Chuck Jenkins from the Ice Cream Hands. Now we're going to pop inside and have a look at what's inside Chuck's fridge. Come with me. I'm going to chow down my vegetable cart up and sell my vegetable cell. Me, the name of your favorite vegetable. Chuck, as an ARIA award-winning singer-songwriter, how do you find time to cook during your busy day writing songs and looking after the kids? Uh, <clears throat> there's a couple of things wrong with that opening question there. <laughs> what the hell's an ARIA? Uh, secondly, I don't, I don't really cook <laughs> all that much. I tend to grab and throw. Grab and throw? And scoff. <laughs> Now, I've found a beautiful little prop here. It's cold, so it's actually not a prop. It's, it's an egg of it's an a, animal. It's a, it's a goose egg. Actually, why you mention Where? that, I think there's another animal up here. It's a, a rare species that we found up at a friend's property. It's a kind of little birdie rodent. <laughs> Satay burger. Oh, they're good. They're, they're a cheap, uh, cheap alternative for us non-meat eaters. They're just, you know. We just microwave them. Oh, and, uh, beautiful preparation. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Fire up the bar. Yeah. Stick them in the microwave. So you're complete vegetarian or you're pescatorian? I eat fish. Yeah. Is that what you're getting at? Pescatarian. Oh, right. Is it, do they go to church? No? <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't think so. There's another bit to this song. I've got no idea how it goes I'm though. Get me some meat. Get me my favorite oh, of chunk of meat. That's purely for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you caught me out. Every now and then, you know, I'm tempted. I just have to, ooh, that picture looks so good. So, yeah. This isn't the stuff that hardens on the top? In the arteries. No. <laughs> That was Chuck Jenkins playing a fantastic song by the Beach Boys, I do believe, called My Favourite Vegetable. <laughs>
Place cake, mix eggs and milk into a small bowl. Mix it all together. Put it in the oven now for 35 minutes. A sexy, romantic chocolate cake. So easy, even a child can make it. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make this here salsa. Parsley, olives and tomato. First thing to do, wash the parsley. It gets a bit sandy, gets a bit grainy. Second thing to do, pit the olives. You've got to take the olives away from the pit. Third thing, we've got to cut the tomatoes in quarters, take the guts of them out, chop them all up, mix it all together, put some salt and pepper, olive oil, lemon juice. This salsa is awesome, dude. You'll love it. Okay, firstly we've got to pit the olives. Everyone knows how to pit olives, right? It's dead hey, easy. Hang on. I don't know how to pit an olive. Oh, fair dinkum. I'll show you. Is it easy? See how they've got to split in them there? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Squeeze that baby. Chuck that away. Olive pity. Perfect. It's easy, isn't it? Every time. <laughs> A good habit to always get into when you're dealing with something like parsley is to give it a rinse. There's always a lot of grit on it, a bit of sand on it, and you don't want that crunchy vibe when you're trying to knock up a good feed for someone. This will probably take you six minutes to do, you know, it's like a stubby job. You get a stubby when you're having this. By the time you finish the stubby, you are finished the chopping. my beautiful parsley, olives and tomatoes all in together. We're just going to mix it up with some pepper, olive oil and the juice of one lemon. Now that's a bloody good drop. Oh, beautiful nose, full bodied. That's your Barbara Streisand, the wines, that is. Figgy, toasty nut aroma. Oh yeah, that skips across the middle palate like a babbling brook across coloured coins of stone. I'll tell you one thing about Australians, they bloody know how to brew a good drop. Get your laughing gear around this. Cheers, Ross. If you want to know about sexy food, let me tell you a couple of things about women. Listen and learn. I've cooked Danube cotelettes on chaud foie bouquetier for babes in Budapest. I've demi-glazed dindano or roti or marrons for maids in Marrakesh. I've even stuffed the odd artichoke bottom for the right woman. And you know what they want? Every single one of them, something pink, Firm and meaty. You know what? I've got it right here. Spam! Can't go past it, mate. You can forget all your fancy food. Your escargot a la chablaisienne. Your earth boil point de asperger. No, give us a glass of this, tin of this, and I'll give you sexy food. Uh, I might have expected that from you British. Uh, you like fish and chips wrapped in the page tree girl. That's sexy for you. Hey, you'd eat a fried egg off an engine block, you Germans. Only if it was a Mercedes. Oh, bollocks to your Mercedes. What about your modest man, is it? Uh, probably margarita pizza. Something custardy, yeah, with um, cherries and strawberries. Now, if you had to cook a romantic meal for your fella, what would you try and do? Probably um, oysters. Oysters. How? Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't cook them oysters because I don't really like oysters. 